Today we're vlogging with the Canon RF 16mm 2.8 and we're shooting both on full frame cameras as well as a crop sensor camera and we're going to try three different shots. We're going to walk and vlog, hold our camera steady and lastly put our camera on a tripod. I think these are very traditional vlog shots so we'll see if this works out for you. My name is David Cabra. I do Canon gear reviews, a little bit of street photography and lastly I want to extend this channel to focus more on photography in general. Why do you want to shoot with the 16mm? And it's pretty simple. It's small, it's light, and it's fairly affordable. This costs $250 USD right now, and it originally retailed at $300. So for the price, you get a pretty good deal. This opens up to 2.8, so this is a fairly fast lens. And if you compare it to its zoom counterpart, this is a EF Mark II 16-35. You can tell how small this is. I have my 1635 adapted to an ND variable adapter. And if you compare it to its RF version, the 1535, that costs a little bit over $2,000. And this $300, that's way more than three times the price. You get a pretty good deal for a nice budget lens. Also using an ND filter, this is a KNF Concept ND2 to 400. This cost me 20 bucks. This is a 43 millimeter thread. So this fits both the 16 millimeter lens as well as the nifty 50. I feel like this is gonna be a long video. So I'm gonna split this into chapters. I'm gonna do full frame and then into crop center. If you guys wanna watch the whole video, I highly appreciate it, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead if needed. Walking test on the full frame. I'm using the Canon R6. So my camera comes with IBIS. If you're using the R8, you don't have IBIS, but you have dim digital stave. I'm out here stuttering. But we're gonna do two types of shots. One is gonna be without the stabilizer on and one with the stabilizer. And the reason why I have the stabilizer off, it's because Canon is plagued when you use wide lenses, you get IBIS wobbles. So I'm just using this right now, just so you guys can check the corners if there isn't any wobbles. And just in case you guys haven't noticed, I'm walking in a little field of grass. So maybe my steps are gonna be a little bit softer than if you guys are vlogging on concrete or some tougher terrain you guys are wild vlogging while hiking so this is just a test let me know how you guys feel about it i'm just walking around um i have nothing important to say so this is just you know the test 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 it's actually a really beautiful day i ended up taking off my hat because my hat was casting way too harsh of a shadow on my face but we'll see and now we're vlogging with the digital tape on so let's see if there's any obvious wobbles on the side or is it enough to bug you that you either want to rock it or don't? Uh, just as a heads up, I'm not a vlogger myself, but I feel like people were asking me if, if this was a good vlogging lens for the R7. And I was like, wait a second, I use both my R6 and my R7. So might as well just start making videos on full frame and crop sensor. Just make it all into one. Uh, I don't want to make multiple videos talking about the same thing. Just, just cram that sucker in. But once again, the only reason why I'm talking is just so you guys can see if there's any wobbles. And then I'm gonna start walking a little bit faster just cause we have digital stave. Is there any wobbles around? I'm gonna go ahead and move around. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I'm not gonna know if there's any wobbles or any other distortion up in, until, oh, I'm winded, up until I go into the editing room, which is just my little office. Now we're doing the shot where we just hold the camera I think this is a very classic vlogging angle, just so you can just look around and not really move. And once again, we're starting off the test with the stave off. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I'm only moving just a little bit, but for the most part, I'm standing still and my background might be moving or whatever, but for the most part, we're just still. Now I extended my arm and just to keep in mind, 16 millimeter is pretty wide, so, if you see my arm and I look skinnier, it, it's just a lens. I, I guarantee you that I'm a pretty chubby boy still. Hmm. I'm just catching my breath. And lastly, what we're doing, we have our camera on a tripod. I just feel like if you're vlogging, you don't always want to keep moving around and it's okay to show people different angles. Uh, I have digital save off right now, but I feel like if you turn it on, it's not really going to make a difference because it's just sitting on a tripod. I switched angles, but I just want to show you guys, is this a little too weird? I feel like my hands haven't touched the frames yet, or maybe they're really close to. But if that's a little bit too wide for you, 
if you have a full frame camera, you could also crop in, which gives us the same view as a crop sensor camera. But we're gonna crop in right now and let's see how that works out. And here we are in movie crop mode. So this turns our full frame sensor into more of a crop view back to a 25.6. So I think it's similar as a crop sensor. Uh, don't fact check me right now, but I'm pretty sure I'm right, hopefully. But how do you guys feel about it? Just in case, um, if you have the 16 millimeter on a tripod and you feel like it's a little too wide, at least you have a secondary option. How do you feel about it? We're gonna move around, move around, making myself look like a fool in front of, in front of peels and grandpas, but hey, it doesn't matter. We're having fun. And now we're vlogging with the R7. This is a crop sensor camera. So our field of view is closer to 25.6. Actually, I think I said that wrong. Our crop factor is now at 25.6. Previously, when I tried to do vlogs with this setup, I felt like it was a little too tight, but it's up to you guys. Do you guys feel like this is an appropriate vlog shot? Is it too, too close to me? Just keep in mind, I have my arm like this far out. And right now I'm testing with the digital stabe off. Um, so if you have like a R50, R100, uh, this, is, this is the same type of treatment that you're gonna get. So I'm just gonna walk around, see you guys feel about it. If there's any wobbles, I don't think so because we have stabe off, but we're just doing this darn thing so you guys can see the gosh darn test. In a bit, I'm gonna switch over to digital stabe on and I feel like we're not gonna get as crazy as a wobble as we did on the full frame, just because we're a little bit more cropped in to the camera. But I feel like the tight, <laughs> but I feel like this shot is gonna get a little bit tighter. Holy crap, I'm getting winded. <laughs> now I'm walking around with the digital tape on with the R7. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I feel like we're cropped in just a little bit so we could compensate for the image stabilizer, well, the digital image stabilizer. Let me know if there's any wobbles here. I feel like it's not as bad compared to the full frame, but I won't know up until I get to the office. But what I'm thinking is because we're cropped in a little bit tighter, um, there just isn't a lot of room for it to wobble or like we're not gonna see that. I'm, I'm winded, so I'm not talking right, but let me know if you guys feel like this is just a little bit too cropped in. This is the walking test. So if it doesn't look beautiful, it doesn't look beautiful, but at least I feel beautiful. Now let's test out, just standing. I'm gonna go ahead and walk to my little bench. See you there. So I'm back at my bench. I had to switch hands because I was getting a little too tired holding two cameras for more than 20 minutes. Well, it's gonna do that for you, especially if you're doing it with one hand. But I'm holding the camera, sitting in a somewhat fixed position. Let me know if there's any wobbles on. Uh, I have the stabilizer off. You know, let me know if this is gonna work for your vlog. So now we have subject in front, background on the back. Is this enough information or is it still a little bit too cropped in? I'm gonna go ahead and move around just a bit, switch hands, and then I'm going to switch positions, but try to stay still as possible. Oof, almost fell, but hey. Does this angle work out for you? Digital tape on. So one thing I'm gonna focus is, is there any wobbles happening in the scene? Well, I feel like I'm a little bit overexposed. So I'm gonna shift a little bit. Is there any wobbles happening in the scene? Are we cropped in a little bit more? Is this enough where you guys are gonna be happy? In your guys' vlogs, we have the subject, which is me, and then our background, of course. Is this enough for your little vlog story? And I'm just gonna move just a tad, not a lot once again, but standing still, holding the camera. Is this gonna work out for you? I'm gonna switch hands, because this hand is pretty beat. But yeah, my hair off in the wind. Either I look majestic or I look dumb. This is our last test. This is the camera on a small tripod. Let me get in frame. So is this too wide? I don't think so. I think it's a lot better than the full frame 16 millimeter. Um, once again, when I did the full frame test, I also did the movie crop mode, which gives us a crop factor. So I feel like we're kind of in the similar spot. I'm not standing in the same area. So the results aren't gonna be one to one. But right now we have digital stave off. I feel like when I turn on digital stave, it's not gonna really make that much of a difference, but hey, we're here testing things out. Let me know how you guys feel. I'm gonna go ahead and walk off frame. Now that we're done with the demos, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts and opinions. I'm gonna start off with a full frame and then go into the crop sensor. So with the R6, am I walking and vlogging? I think I'm gonna stabilize in post. If I need to hold up my camera, 
Um, I could go with digital stave or stabilize and post. That one really doesn't matter. I didn't really notice that much of a difference. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. But lastly, if I truly move forward with vlogs, I think the best thing for me is I'm gonna have my camera on a tripod. I think that just looks the best. It gives me a reason to slow down and really frame things. Um, I'm not a good vlogger or to be honest, I just don't vlog. So this is a little bit more spontaneous for me. Let's go on to the crop sensor. I think for me, um, it's just a little too tight. So walking and vlogging, I'd probably do it at a minimum. I think what, what was best, I'm starting right now. I think what was best is holding the camera, but I think what was superior is once again, the tripod shot, because you're able to put things a little bit further away. If you don't have a tripod or you don't have a place to put your camera, I think holding the camera as straight as possible is okay. Keep the walking and vlogging at a minimum. Let me know what works for you guys. Let me know if you guys plan on getting the 16 millimeter now that you've seen this video, or maybe you're just like me and you already purchased the lens and now you're looking someone to reassure you in your purchase. That's it and I'll catch you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Everyone else is gone. If you made it till the end, this is where I just kind of talk to you guys, keep you guys up to date. If you guys don't know, by profession, I'm a visual designer and that's where I've been super busy compared to last quarter and this quarter. This quarter, I've taken triple the amount of work and on the photography front, I've been doing more real estate and event photography. But meanwhile, while I was gone, letting the channel just chill for a bit, I noticed that there's growth even while I'm gone. So it just gives me more motivation to come back and post and just do the darn thing. Um, I have some branded partners that want to work with me. I think I'm going to go through the list and make sure what aligns with me. I think overall, I'm just shooting the stars right now. My dream sponsor or my dream partner would be a soda brand or some shoes. That's what I'm really passionate passionate about outside of photography. I'm, I'm just excited to be back. I also want to do different videos outside of Canon reviews. I shoot film photography, also mess with micro four thirds. So honestly, I just want to open up the floodgates, have a little bit more reach. I'm still going to do Canon reviews. So yeah, man, um, I hope you guys have been well. I've been doing really good, super busy, super stressed, but all this has been extremely rewarding and I'll uh, see you guys next time.